So one last address to his troops, Nathan Buckley. It's a fairy tale brewing. Pendlebury looks pretty good, looks really good. A little grin from Bucks. It's a famous win. A black and white fairy tale. As far as coaching the Magpies is concerned, Buck stops here. Uh, in the moment, it's it's awesome. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a pretty good footy team. So yeah, they're on their way. Yeah, and that's why we love the Collingwood Football Club. Never say die, Pies on Monday, sending out the champion Nathan Buckley in the way that he deserved. And I've got to say, Caro, when I watch my old mate Russell Howcroft going down the slide with a tattoo and getting to the bottom and talking about premiership tattoos on the day in the middle of June before he took on Collingwood on Queen's birthday, I knew that the Pies had him absolutely gone. <laughs> I told you last week we'd get him. I told you. Would you love the Collingwood Football Club if, for example, now that Ross has ruled himself out pretty definitively, mm. they went for, say, a Sam Mitchell... I, having I, having I, expended themselves of Nathan Buckley. No. Do you love them for what they did to Nathan Buckley? Uh, uh, Caro, I, I've said this a number of times. I'm keeping my counsel on this. I'm too close to the action. Well, you're going rah, 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 Collingwood. I can be a Collingwood supporter. I've been that since so, I was So you five. think it was a right decision to remove Nathan when That's they did? That's not what I said at all. No, I said I love the fact that did. the Pies gave it to Melbourne on Monday and I barracked for him and I'm disappointed that, that Darcy Moore's going to miss the season with his knee. And I'm not going to say anything at the moment, Caroline, because I've said this before. Okay, well, I'll say, say yeah, nothing. Well, I've held my line the whole way through. As much as we've had some moments we didn't like how they were playing, I think prelim, grand final, famous final, he's had to carry a 23-year president, a, a leadership vacuum of the club leave, list manager depart in turbulent circumstances, fo Walsh, football operations manager, and the board challenge. And he's had to carry that, handle his players, injuries and departures. I think it, it's a silly decision. He's still... And to say he couldn't do the next three to five years not the right person for the rebuild, I don't understand it. He's just... All the rough edges are smoothed off him. He's ready to go. But I've held my line on that for a while. Wow, OK. Well, I think... And I'm, I'm sure Ed might have a bit of a view on that. Yeah, Some not, interesting not, scenes, said, yeah. Ed, at the SCG, when Nathan did depart. Mark Corder, your replacement as president, was standing on the MCG. He came up and... Now, it was put on... It was actually said on 3AW the next morning after this game that Nathan Buckley... Did he, only, did he half snub Mark Corder on two occasions? Did you... I mean, that, that was how it was read. From, my... So talk us through why, if that was to be the case. It doesn't. It doesn't look... It looks OK there. Uh, yeah, but, the first one I thought looked yeah, interesting. But, and I heard it put definitively on a sports segment the next so morning. So do you believe... So, say, who makes... In a sense, who made that decision? Was it Graham Wright, you think? Cord, Mark Corder and the board. Who, who? Uh, the, the, the board has to The board, it. yeah, but off, yeah. off the recommendations of yeah. Graham Wright. Yeah, and I think, I think uh, um, Mark Anderson said at, at the farewell press conference that uh, there is a subcommittee that's been formed with somebody coming in from outside that made the decision and in conjunction with discussions with Nathan. But that's what I'm reading from, yeah. from what was said. Well, a subcommittee so. from the outside made the decision. No, inside, they've got that subcommittee, they're adding another and person And an right. external Jason Dunstall type yeah. person will come in. Yeah. Well, also, the other thing that's Which happened... I don't like. Well, it's clearly <laughs> something under the surface like... we can't see and I can't see. Because... I, I, I'd like to see Collingwood people make Collingwood mm. decisions. I, I think it was expedient yeah. and political for okay. the board. But speaking of the board, so there's a, another imbroglio taking place. David Hatley, who we spoke to a few weeks ago on the show, who pushed for those signatures, has got the signatures. He has been contacted, I'm told, by a couple of board members. I'm told it might be Peter Murphy and Mark LeCuria. Paul they, LeCuria. Paul, Paul yep. LeCuria, I should say. Um, I think David Hatley's now got the wobbles to... <laughs> <laughs> put it, well, I think he's thinking twice, and, and I think they've they've come to an agreement with him to give the members back some privileges at games, etc. But other members who were with David Hatley initially have said to David Hatley, "Look, we wanted an EGM. Well, you've got the signatures. You can't just leave." So what, what are you saying? What a, a Parmigiana stopped an EGM, has it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. What? A... Is that seriously it? What? No. A duffel jacket. I don't know what deal they've done, but they've convinced no. him that it would not be good for the club. Others still want to push for the EGM. Maybe there'll be an AGM brought forward. Maybe if a coach is appointed, maybe it's going to be tough for Jeff Brown. So where's it heading? So I was about it's, to ask it's you getting that. getting messy. Where's it heading? Who do you think will be the president of Collingwood next year? I would have backed Jeff Brown in a few weeks ago. I think if this mob can 
a, you know, appoint a coach and a coach that the members are happy with, it'll be tough for De Jeff Brown to have to be seen as a disruptor. I think he's got to tick it together now and I think when an EGM is called, if it is, that is when his ticket will emerge and that's when it's going to get interesting.